Hello, I'm Don Mitchell. I'm delighted to be with you again to share another lesson from Disciple, the book that gives you 60 experiences with drawing closer to God, knowing God more fully, and coming more closely to living the plan that God created for your life before the beginning of the world. Now, in the course of uh, doing this, today we'll be talking about a lesson from the second week, the third lesson of that uh, second week, um, which is from part one. Part one is experiencing God more fully. In this lesson, you're going to be choosing and memorizing a life verse, if you haven't done so already. And I'll begin with a quote from Matthew chapter 5, verse 48 in the New King James Version. Therefore, you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Now, isn't that remarkable uh, that uh, Jesus has told us that we're going to be perfect? Uh, what a great thing we have to look forward to. So, what is a life verse? Many people discover a part of the Bible that encompasses some extremely important lesson that should never be far from their thoughts. After such a discovery, memorizing such a verse should be relatively easy because the lesson is so spiritually valuable and relevant to the believer's life. Matthew 5.48 reminds us that although we have all sinned and need to repent and ask God for forgiveness, we are also capable of acting in perfect ways that bring God glory, draw us closer to Him, and expand and improve His kingdom. You can use this lesson to find a verse that helps bring you closer to the perfection that God intends for you. As you perceive God more fully, your relationship with him will become closer and you will develop spiritually. In the course of that happening, your life verse could possibly change. However, by responding now to his word by concentrating on one verse, you will be gaining immediately applicable directions to, uh, that will be very useful to you in encouraging you to further your spiritual development time and again in the meantime. Many believers have shared their life verses with me. I have been fascinated to note that no two of them have selected the same verse. This variation is yet more evidence of the uniqueness that God has created in each one of us. Life verses can be inspired in so many ways that this lesson cannot begin to touch on all of them. Let me mention a few possible sources of inspiration that could help start your thinking about what to focus on in his word. For example, you might have had some remarkable experience revealed God to you in more ways than at any other time. If that were the case, you might select a verse that resonates strongly with what you felt on that occasion. That was my experience. Uh, in the process of becoming uh, a believer, I had uh, started to uh, think about committing my life to Jesus, and uh, but had been reluctant to do so because I didn't fully uh, trust him yet. And I was a very um, ambitious and self-righteous 13-year-old uh, who had a lot of ego. And I had decided it was very important to do well in an athletic contest, one that involved me being able to uh, jump far into a sand-filled pit. Well, in the course of the competition, I was doing badly. I was way behind everyone else. I had one opportunity left, and the uh, two of the leaders had gone well past my best jump in the past. So it seemed hopeless. So I thought to myself, well, you know, God really doesn't want to be troubled with a little thing like this, but, you know, if he helped me out in this circumstance, I would definitely know that he was looking out for me and that I should commit my life to Jesus. So I prayed for that, and I said, God, take me, you know, and and, uh, if, and show me, you know, what you can do here. So I got up on the board. I felt very relaxed. Uh, I took what seemed like an easy jump. I didn't uh, really put a particular effort into it. And all of a sudden, I felt light as a feather, as if a hand were carrying me to the end of that sand-filled pit. I had out-jumped my best performance by more than six inches, and I won the competition. 
I ran off to let my friends know, and and they uh, they didn't really take the whole thing seriously. But it was my first chance to be uh, a witness uh, for Jesus, and I'm very glad to have that opportunity. So the life verse I picked is from James 4:10 in the New King James Version. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. So you can see how that perfectly matched the experience that I had uh, that day. And uh, I had just as recently as yesterday had an experience where I had a chance to humble myself while being praised by someone. And I did, and I was very glad I did, because it, it, it certainly created the right result. And immediately the person who was trying to praise me uh, turned right around, turned my humility back uh, to God's credit. So I was very happy to have been part of that. Okay. Uh, as, a, as a different example, you may be tempted to sin uh, in a way that's very difficult for you to resist. To do better, you might look for a verse that would strengthen your resistance. Alternatively, a certain verse might be powerful inspiring for inspiring you uh, to do God's will much more frequently in some particular aspect of your life. If changing your focus in such a way would make you act more fruitfully, a verse about how Jesus acted uh, could be a perfect choice in that case. Or perhaps simply you just really uh, wanted to love people more, and Jesus talked a lot about that, and you might pick a verse from what he had to say. So now let's talk about uh, some practical questions to really help you do this. Many people already have life verses. You might find it helpful to ask other believers if they have chosen such a verse and how the verse has affected their lives. You can probably find online materials where such topics are addressed as well. If you haven't yet thought about this subject, you might find it helpful to search for words in the Bible related to topics that strongly attract your attention and interest, or even where you would simply like to change. Here are the following questions that might help your search. First, what is the most valuable spiritual benefit the life verse could bring to you for either drawing closer to God or for increasing and improving his kingdom. Two, what are at least 10 moving and relevant verses that you might select? If you have access to either a searchable website that contains Bible translations or an indexed Bible translation, look for verses that address the relevant topics for you. Three, how might each of these possible verses affect your spiritual uh, sensitivities and actions. Four, what thoughts are most prominent in your mind after praying for guidance in selecting one of these verses? Five, what verse did you choose? Six, how will you memorize, remind yourself to meditate on, and act based on this point of this verse? So that's it for today. Good luck with your life verse. I look forward to learning more about it as you make progress. God bless you and goodbye.